Come on students. Now we'll start the next problem that is problem number 9. 8 problems so far we have completed short problems. Ninth problem you see. A company dealing in life insurance disclosed a fund of 50 lakh on 31st March 2003 before taking the following into consideration. Fund means life insurance fund. So life insurance fund as on 31st March 2003 was 50 lakh but before taking three adjustments into account some three adjustments are there without taking into account those adjustments the life insurance fund was given as 50 lakh now we have to take into consideration those adjustments and find out the correct life insurance fund adjusted life insurance fund what is the first one so what i am going to find out is ascertaining the correct life insurance fund after adjustments the life insurance fund before adjustment is given 50 lakh rupees given in the problem now one by one adjustment we'll see see here life insurance fund is nothing but the surplus the surplus arising on excess of income over expenditure revenue receipts jo aayega or revenue expenditure dono ko compare karenge revenue receipts zyada hai aur revenue payment kam hai to surplus generate hota rahega aur wo surplus jo generate ho raha hai wo sari cheeze sare usko fund mein dal denge life insurance fund ab income agar rahengi to usko add karenge agar expenditure agar raha to less kar denge so to life insurance fund we add the incomes we deduct the expenditure now we'll see one by one a company dealing uh, a claim of rupees 32,000 outstanding in the books for eight years is not to be honored a claim outstanding for 32,000 for the last eight years was not to be honored see here uh, one of the policy holder has intimated to the company that his policy has matured and 32,000 rupees has to be paid. The company has, the insurance company has admitted the claim and it, become, it becomes an outstanding claim. But the person has not encashed that amount. The person has not taken that amount. One year, two year, three year, up to eight years completed. Still that person is not coming. The company uh, wants to negative that outstanding claim. Remove that outstanding claim. Now the company will not pay. In India, we have one limitation act a person should recover the amount within a period of four years within four years a person should recover the amount if the time is expired for four years or some period will be given within that period the amount should be recovered if no action is taken the amount is not recovered then after that period the amount cannot be recovered the person cannot sue the other person in a court of law because it will become time barred so there is Indian Limitation Act. Some specific period is given. So here life insurance company has also waited for 8 years. But the person has not taken the money. The company will negative the outstanding claim. It's a gain to the company. It's a gain to the company. The company does not have to pay the liability. So it will be added. The outstanding claim negatived. Not to be honored. Should be added to life insurance fund. Add. Outstanding claim in the books of the last eight years now negative 32,000. So add up 32,000, 50 lakh 32,000. The next one B point is bonus utilized in reduction of premium 32,000. See here, bonus utilized in reduction of premium. So this will affect twice. First of all, bonus in reduction of premium will come under fourth schedule that is benefits paid. And again, this bonus in reduction of premium will be added to premium. Added to premium. So the double effect of bonus in reduction of premium is it is added to premium and added to bonus. Bonus is an expenditure. Premium is an income. So 32,000 rupees income may be ja hai, premium may be ja hai, 32,000 bonus expenditure may be ja hai. So this 32,000 will have the effect of increasing the income and also increasing the expenditure. So there is no effect on life assurance fund. There is no effect on life assurance fund on account of further bonus utilized in reduction of premium. So normal adjustment for this further bonus utilized reduction of premium is it will be added to premium in first schedule and it is added to bonus in the fourth schedule. So no effect, no effect for this bonus in reduction of premium. Next item is reinsurance premium 14,000 
and commission on it is 4000 reinsurance premium so in case of reinsurance premium the premium is payable to the other in insurer the person uh, the company which ceded the insurance to another company has to pay the premium example i have given abc company has made the reinsurance with xyz company that means giving the business to xyz company so whatever premium abc company will receive out of that some premium under reinsurance will be paid to xyz company this is called reinsurance premium so it is payable it's an expenditure so reinsurance premium will be deducted will be deducted from premium premium may say come cut the reinsurance premium so here we will subtract from 50 lakh 32,000 minus 14,000 the remaining amount 50 lakh 18,000 now add commission on reinsurance ceded ABC company has ceded the reinsurance business to XYZ company when the business is ceded it will get commission it will get commission so reinsurance premium jo pay kar hai, uske upar commission mil hai 14, 000, uh, 4, 000. So commission will be added so reinsurance premium subtracted commission will be added so correct life assurance fund is 50 lakh 22 thousand this is the correct life assurance fund or adjusted life assurance fund Correct life assurance fund or adjusted life assurance fund. That's all. This is the ninth problem. Now, see the tenth problem. This tenth is the last short problem. The life assurance fund of Sada Bahar Assurance Company Limited as on 31st March 2004 amounted to 60,64,500. This is the total life assurance fund on 31st March 2004. Now, the company has actually estimated the net liability in respect of all contracts to be 54,21,500. So, whenever we are given the life assurance fund and net liability as per actuary, that means we have to prepare valuation balance sheet. When we have a problem, we two items. De net liability as per actuary and life assurance fund. So, we have to this problem valuation balance sheet. Ka. The directors resolved that 30,000 be set apart for actuarial expenses. Actually, the work kar raha hai, actually calculate kar raha how much is the net liability? He has to be remunerated. He has to be paid expenses. So the company has to pay actuaries expenses as amounted to 30,000. 85% of net surplus. The net surplus will get only after preparing valuation balance sheet. 85% of net surplus be utilized for paying bonus to policy holders. Normally, according to LYC Act, 95% of net surplus will be paid as bonus to policy holders but here in the problem specifically given 85% of net surplus will be paid as bonus to policy holders so we will take 85% and 10% of net surplus be utilized towards dividend to shareholders and the balance to be carried forward so 85% of net surplus will be given as bonus to policy holders 10% of net surplus will be given as dividend to shareholders Ab 85 plus 10, 95 ho gaya. Baakhi ka 5% will be carried over to life assurance fund. Yane pahle life assurance fund se surplus nikale. Nikal kar appropriation kar diye. After making appropriation, jo bhi paisa bacha hua hai surplus ka, again isko wapas dal denge. Kahe mein wapas dal denge life assurance fund. Then pass journal entries to give effect to the above resolution of the directors. Now it is ultimately asking you in the problem to pass the journal entries to give effect to this resolution. What resolution? Find out the net profit, uh, net, net surplus. Out of the net surplus, 85% will be the bonus payable to policyholders, 10% will be the dividend payable to shareholders, and the remaining balance will be carried over to life insurance fund. This is the resolution. So first of all, we make the valuation balance sheet. You can see here. Valuation balance sheet. Right hand side we take the life assurance fund given 60 lakh 54 find it. Left hand side will take the net liability, the net liability as per actuary. Actuary is the person who is expert in calculating all the risk. So he will calculate how much is the risk on the existing policies of insurance and annuity contracts. So he has applied all the formulas, he has calculated the net liability come to 54 lakh 21 find it. 
यानी कंपनी के पास लाइबिलिटी फिफ्टी फोर लैख ट्वेंटी वन फाइव हंड्रेड है जबकि फंड में पैसा सिक्सटी लैख फिफ्टी फोर फाइव हंड्रेड है तो बैलेंसिंग फिगर आ गया सर प्लस सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड तो सर प्लस एस पर वैल्युएशन बैलेंस शीट इज सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड अब ये सर प्लस में से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज टू बी केप्ट असाइड फॉर एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसिस गिवेन इन द प्रॉब्लम तो सर प्लस एस पर वैल्युएशन बैलेंस शीट सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसिस थर्टी थाउजेंड सब कर दो सिक्स लैख थर्टीन थाउजेंड इज कॉल द नेट सरप्लस अवेलेबल फॉर डिस्पोजल अब ये नेट सरप्लस में से कैसा डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करेंगे प्रॉब्लम में दे दिया एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ नेट सरप्लस विल बी गिवन एज बोनस टू पॉलिसी होल्डर्स तो बोनस टू पॉलिसी होल्डर्स एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ सिक्स लैख थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी देन डिविडेंड टू शेयर होल्डर्स टेन परसेंट ऑफ सिक्स लैख थर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड अब ये 85% और 10% चला गया तो 95% हो गया रिमेनिंग 5% परसेंट विल बी कैरीड ओवर टू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड तो बैलेंस कैरीड ओवर टू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड बैलेंसिंग फिगर तो आउट ऑफ सिक्स लैख थर्टीन थाउजेंड नेट सर प्लस माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन जीरो फाइव जीरो माइनस सिक्सटी वन थ्री हंड्रेड तो बैलेंसिंग फिगर थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी ये थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी को वापस जहां से आया था वहीं पर डाल देंगे कहां से आया था ये लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड तो रिमेनिंग दिस बैलेंस वुड बी ट्रांसफर टू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड दिस इज दॉब्लम वी हैव मेड द कैलकुलेशन नाउ इट इज आस्किंग यू टू पास द जर्नल एंट्रीज फॉर दिस रिजोल्यूशन तो वॉट आर द जर्नल एंट्रीज सी केयरफुल फर्स्ट ऑफ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर विदड्रॉइंग द मनी ऑफ सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड यह सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज निकाल रहे हैं कई में से निकाल रहे हैं लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड निकाल कर कई में डाल देंगे प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट ए न्यू अकाउंट विल ओपन टेम्पोरली तो एंट्री क्या हो जाएगी लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड अकाउंट डेटा टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सी लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड विल शो क्रेडिट बैलेंस विल शो क्रेडिट बैलेंस नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रेड्यूस इट यू टू डेबिट तो लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड को डेबिट करेंगे टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड बींग द अमाउंट विद ड्रॉन बींग द अमाउंट विद ड्रॉन From life assurance fund for declaring bonus and for declaring dividend. That is the narration for this. Being the amount withdrawn from life assurance fund for declaring bonus to policy holders and dividend to shareholders. पैसा निकाल लिया. अब ये जो पैसा निकाला है six lakh forty three thousand. इसमें से first of all thirty thousand rupees should be uh, payable as remuneration to actuary, actuarial expenses. तो entry will be. प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसेस तो पहले ये प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट को क्रेडिट कर दिए टेम्पोरी न्यू अकाउंट इज ओपन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इट इज क्रेडिटेड बाई सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड अब उसमें से डिसबर्स करेंगे थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज इज अमाउंट टू बी कैप्ट साइड फॉर एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसिस तो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसिस आउटस्टैंडिंग बींग द एक्चुअल एक्सपेंसिस ड्यू नॉट बोनस टू पॉलिसी होल्डर्स हाउ मच बोनस टू पॉलिसी होल्डर्स इज पेबल फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी एंट्री प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू बोनस पेबल प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू बोनस पेबल फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी वन जीरो फाइव जीरो बींग द बोनस पेबल टू पॉलिसी होल्डर्स उसी तरह डिविडेंड टू शेयर होल्डर्स हाउ मच इज द डिविडेंड टू शेयर होल्डर्स सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड तो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू डिविडेंड पेबल सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड बींग द डिविडेंड पेबल टू शेयर थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी इसको फिर वापस ट्रांसफर कर देंगे लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड में तो एंट्री प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेटा टू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी बींग द बैलेंस रिमेनिंग इन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस फंड सो दीज आर दर्नल्स सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑल द शॉर्ट प्रॉब्लम तो फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द थ्योरी ऑफ दिस अकाउंट ऑफ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज then in this video we have completed the short problems on life insurance companies next video we will start the main problems